All right, gamers, there's one more way to play Star Citizen on the Steam Deck, and that's through using Moonlight. So why don't I walk you through just a little bit about how this works. Uh, you need to hold L1, R1, start select in order to close out of it. So just know that that's what you have to do to exit a program. Um, but then basically what we're using here is Moonlight. So I'm going to link in the description uh, a couple videos that will help you get started on Moonlight uh, and how you can use that. Note that you will have to tweak some of the settings. Uh, just to get the text clarity on the much smaller screen can really get screwed up. And this is just an aside on like DLSS and FSR that I think that many great gamers take for granted that they only play certain games that don't use a lot of like finite text. But if you're playing like Star Citizen or Total War, like I play, FSR and DLSS are just unusable. Like the the banding around text, the the halos, the... Um, the blurring that happens because the pixels are conflated or expanded uh, is just just not usable. So um, uh, note that uh, his latest update to Steam, or I guess this is a few updates ago, but making allowing you to do control settings for every game, including non-Steam games, has been clutch. So, but basically, what you're just going to do here, let's just go ahead and exit this and then come back into it. Uh, you'll follow those directions, you'll get Moonlight, and then you're going to access these through non-Steam games. You'll just click the Moonlight app, you go to play, you're going to open this up, it's going to boot onto your onto your machine, um, and then you just, whatever you've named your machine, obviously my, if you've watched my Gone Building videos, you know that I built my own PC that I called Glacial Dream, uh, so that's where that is. And then uh, you can choose several different games that you might have available through Moonlight, and obviously this is like um, through the NVIDIA broadcast. App, so uh, that kind of limits your options. You do need to follow some directions on how to get uh, specific uh, specific app, apps on here. The, R, the RSI launcher is just one good example of that. So when you press play, it's going to load the app on your computer, and then it's going to broadcast your main screen. Uh, you can then use, uh, if you've set it, your trackpad as your mouse. Uh, if you don't have that, then it can be a little bit agitating. Um, so I just need to go ahead I'm standing next to my computer. The because after they added the controller settings, um, it it it, it uh, has messed with my controller settings. So I did have it set to mouse's trackpad, but that obviously wasn't working. So um, I will say uh, that the controller settings is a little bit annoying with Moonlight, and that you that you can't have them as application specific within this. So um, you know you'll just have to gauge for yourself whether or not that's something that you feel comfortable doing or playing. Um, so, but for me, this is probably the way that I'm going to be focused on playing uh, Star Citizen. Um, you can also just save profiles in your controller settings. So that's another way that you could do it if you just wanted to save them. Uh, you come in, you come to your controller settings down here, and then you're going to go ahead uh, and go to your layout, edit layout. You can uh, save them uh, as specific things, and then you also can go for community layouts as well. Um, so somebody has one for New World, uh, Heroes, uh, Company of Heroes. So those are just some good examples. So I'm going to go for Gamepad with Mouse Trackpad just so I can navigate the menus here. Uh, and we'll hop back in. This You can see the clarity of text is, oh, come on, down, 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 is much, much better than what we were having on the native app. Uh, but obviously I can't take this with me when I travel abroad. So... I'm just wanting to dip in and play some uh, Star Citizen while I'm on work travel. That's something that I will have to figure out. But let's jump in here to Arena Commander and the mouse is obnoxiously set to right click on the right one, but then it doesn't do anything on the left click. So just gonna be back using my mouse again. So you do have to configure that in the controller settings. If you're getting agitated by it, just note that that's something that you have to do. And why don't I just show you how to do that? Um, so you come to controller settings, you'll go down to edit layout. Then you're going to drop down to track pads. You're going to go to right stick click and just change this over left mouse click. Bing bada boom, you're good to go. And now you should be able to come in, click on these. And since it's just a mouse input, you're able to do anything on your personal computer that you are doing uh, on your Steam Deck. 
So for me, I am, and stay tuned in the next few weeks, going to be building a new computer, a small form factor PC that's going to go behind my TV downstairs. Um, and that way I can just have the computer on all the time, ready to stream um, and ready to go. And you'll note that it does get you your Steam inputs. So all of the base inputs that it reads from the Steam controller uh, are still active here. Um, the modifier button isn't doing all the things, but that was how it was before. I still do get the rolls. Um, it just won't give me targeting. I did have to set that myself. It was very annoying. So we were able to deploy landing gear though, so that's good. Um, but you see here, I'm just getting perfect clarity, 60 frames per second, easy. This is, it's not a push at all for me. Um, and if we were to go over here and do display info, uh, we'll, we'll do that at a different time. But uh, basically, I gotta get good enough frames on my personal computer. That's not gonna be an issue. Um, but this is this is for me at least. All right, that's interesting. Just uh, when you're flying in a Titan, it is pretty rough to a kill these pirates without a uh, pip. <laughs> it just is. Uh, it doesn't do you any good. So why, why don't I walk through one last time just how to set settings? And this this will apply to my other video. You just come into controller settings, edit layout, um, and then you can come through here and edit some stuff. Um, so what I would want to do for the back grips is give these a specific command. So why don't we just set uh, L5 here as targeting. So we're just going to set this to T. And just a quick, this is just a quick, a quick fix here. So, and I saw myself uh, looking over at my main screen and playing this. So that's actually another fun way you can kind of do this, to be honest. So there we go. There were three missiles. I need to set one to chaff. Um, but anyway, I, look, I'm not going to walk through how to play Star Citizen right now. But just note that like getting excellent frames, same gameplay experience I'm getting on my computer. I just need to go through and rebind all these keys. So I'll be working on that. And I'll be saving the layout as a specific layout. And, try and, and I'll try to copy that over to the Star Citizen app and post all of those descriptions. Post all of that in the description below. Because you can source community layouts, you can just go on and load my layout. So, uh, that's something I'm going to be working on in the next couple of weeks. Just be patient with me as I as I get to that. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Is this uh, does this make it so you can play other games that you really care about? So you might have seen uh, one of the options that I had here was um, was uh, Cyberpunk. So that's a different option that I have, and I also can just access everything that I have on my desktop as well and just run it like a personal computer. So uh, let me know what all of you think in the comments down below. Like I said, if this is this something you're interested in? Uh, is there a game that you'd like me to play just to see how it works on Steam Deck? If I can map the controllers, uh, everything like that, I'd, I'd appreciate hearing it. And uh, until next time, good luck out there. Have some fun. Keep on gaming. Bye for now.